Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Let's continue today getting some stuff cleaned up as we work our way towards eventually making concrete bricks uh, so that we can get to the, the next tier of machines that I want to produce. And I'm just going to fix this here. I was messing around over here getting ready to set something up, but I don't need those undergrounds to be sitting there for no reason. Okay, uh, so... First thing I want to do is grab some nanobots uh, just to assist the regular bots. And then I also want to make termite bots for tree destruction. So those take iron axes and basic circuit boards. Now I've already got iron axes here. And I've got mining drills. Yeah, it's too bad that the mining drills are here. Um, I suppose I could move those, and it might not be too difficult. Let's see here. Whoops, that's not right. Okay. Um, that means I'll have to move this as well. So what I'll do is I'll just put a RoboPort up there. And then I'll empty that out. And then we'll put in the bots. Um, I have some construction bots in the network now because... A while ago, when I replaced <clears throat> when I replaced these warehouses with provider warehouses instead of regular warehouses, I didn't realize that the logistics warehouses like this have fewer slots. They only have 512 instead of 768. So when I put this warehouse down, uh, all the all the rest of the stone brick came out of the warehouse and was all over the place. So I just used bots to pick it up to make that a little bit quicker and easier. Now this will have to move too, actually. So let's, I'm just going to move this whole thing. Oh, why does it keep doing that? I'm having problems with my mouse button, apparently. All right, so I'm just going to move this whole thing over. Um, and it could go, I think it could go right here. Yeah. So I'll remove that, and then we'll put that here. Let me pick up all of this first. I'm starting to accumulate a lot of junk now. Um, I got a tip for a mod that I haven't tried yet, but I think I probably will try it. Um, it's called Noxie's Stack Size Multiplier. And um, it allows you to change the default stack size in your inventory so that essentially you can get it to where every item is in a single stack. I think I might do that. I don't know. If you guys think that's cheating, let me know. Okay, so I'm going to move that right there. Okay, wonderful. And then I can transfer this inventory over there. And then I can pick these up. All right. And then, whoops, right there. I can put the termite bots. 
No, I gotta move it one more. There, we can put the termite bots. Okay, and those also need basic circuits. Okay, that's five seconds, so a yellow inserter should be enough. Set a stack limit. There. Okay, good. So, got that done. Um, we got the barrel station separated in the last episode, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. And that seems to be working well so far. You can see some empty barrels going down there from when a train dropped off. So I, I think that's um, I think that's a pretty good setup. Um, now I was advised that I didn't limit the silo for the zinc ingots, so I'm gonna go take a look over there and get that fixed. I don't want I don't want to make a hole. I don't want to make a whole silo full of zinc ingots. And then after that, I want to take a look at how I'm managing water over here because I, I think I'm not set up in the most uh, efficient way possible. Okay, so we're full of stone again, which is why all of this has stopped. Um, Looks like the warehouse for geodes is also full. How are we doing on slag? Slag, we still have some room. So if I have any warehouses with me, and I do. All right, so we can put down a couple warehouses. And that'll help get that moving again. Uh, I need to craft something. Um, Alright, yeah, two more warehouses will help. Alright, and then... I think what I'll do here is I'll just bring it over here. Um... Obviously, I need I need to come up with a way to start using all of this slag and stuff. Because um, I can't just keep adding warehouses. I mean, I could, but <laughs> eventually I'm going to run out of room. Okay. Yeah, I've got 28,000 zinc ingots now. Probably more than what I need right now. Alright, let's... Put that to a stop. All right, sulfur dioxide. Oxygen is full. All this looks fine. Okay. Um, I have aluminum plates, and I have brass plates. Okay. Yeah. So once I once I get around to getting some concrete put together. We'll be able to start making leaching plants and, and start to upgrade our refining facility. But like I said, I want to take a look at the water. Uh, starting way down here because um, like we're using purified water uh, in a couple places. We're using saline water in a couple places. And I'm not sure that I have all that stuff linked properly. So I want to take a look there. Alright. Yeah, so purified water is coming from way over here. Okay, so this is our main, let's say this is our main source of purified water. So we're coming in here to feed all this. All these machines are using purified water. And outputting wastewater of various types. 
Okay, now where else am I using purified water? Um, this is using saline. And then I have purified water going into this tank and then clarifying. Okay, so, so one thing that we can do is we can output from this back over to here and set it to prioritize this purified water. Um, although I, th I think I should still keep the clarifier there in case it backs up. All right. Fortunately, I still have some pumps. Um, where do I want to pump out here? If I do it here, then I'm going to be in the way of the water. Okay. Yeah. So let's do it down here. First, let's move this power pole slightly. All right. And then from here, I'll just exit to the right. So now this, so now this purified water will come over here. Um, if I go into this line directly, I think I need a, I think I might need a tank. Well, I already have a tank over there. I think it would help if the output going over this way was connected to that line first rather than this one though. And this is going to slow down. Okay, yeah, I'm wasting saline water too, so I guess that's okay. I'm just trying to think of how I can prioritize this water over this water. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to need an underflow valve. Here it is. Okay, so that way this valve will only open if if the pipe on this side is less than 80% full. All right, and then we can bring in the other source of purified water after that valve. should do the trick. Well, 
Although this pump, I think, is going to is going to perhaps cause this valve to open more than I want it to. Just because the pump is going to cause this section of pipe to drop below 80% faster than this pipe can fill it, even though this pipe is almost completely full. Um, so perhaps, perhaps there's a better way to do this. What if I just don't use a pump? Take a look at the tank up here, which I can't see. I need another. I need another radar, or to move a radar. Let's see. There's. There's a radar around here someplace, I think. Yeah, there it is. Let me move that radar over a bit. So we get better coverage over here on the left side. This tank is practically empty now, so. All right, so that's good. I, I think I will go ahead and put that pump back on there because it looks like the, it looks like that is not going to be the primary source of purified water. We're just gonna get some extra from that. And then I've got all that sulfuric wastewater just going down the drain. One, two. All right. So I'll put the pump back on there. Okay. All right. Now the saline water is going up here to this tank. And then is going over here to combine with saline water coming out of this process. And then Okay, and then that saline water is being used to make the sodium hydroxide. And that's all that we're using it for right now. All right, so do I need saline water anywhere else over here? I don't think I do. Okay, so, so this saline water tank, this is our only buffer of saline water right now. So, um, one thing we could do is start to set up barreling. We could barrel the saline water because we're going to need that elsewhere in the factory. I'm sure. Let's take a look at what saline is used for. So I'll right click that. We can use that for algae, sodium hydroxide, which we're already doing. 
salt. I don't know if we need salt for anything, really. No, right-click the salt. Oh, okay, for sodium sulfate. Yeah, I'm not sure what we need that for. Um, so it looks like it's used for bio type of processes. And I'm not sure how much into that I am going to be getting, but um, but at, at the least, it's used to make brown algae, and I'm sure that we'll have further use for brown algae at some point uh, when we start making circuits and stuff. So, <clears throat> so why don't we set up... We'll need to import some barrels, and we will need to barrel up saline water and make a saline water outpost, if you will. Okay, so provider stations. That's, those are not providers. This is a provider station. All right, so let me make a copy of a provider station. Uh, I'm gonna remove the inputs and outputs though. And see where I have room to set that up. See, and this is the problem with this layout that I made here. I'm somewhat limited on where I can place my stations. I can't have them side by side. Okay, but we could put that there. We need a um, constant combinator. And I need an LTN stop. Okay, so this is ready to receive barrels. Um, and it's balancing this way. I want to reverse the balance flow from this one to this one. Um, and that means I'm going to need to flip this around too. So let's flip that, and then... This needs to connect there, and this needs to connect there. Okay, and then we can... Let's see, we can put a loader here. Or actually... It might be easier if I just pump it over all right fill saline water barrel right and that's very fast so we'll use stack inserters Right, now I want that to come after the pump. Well, and I want I want my sodium hydroxide to be fed first. Although I've got plenty of saline there. Um So if I put a what do I want here? So I want it to flow this way only if I've got high pressure. Okay, so I need an overflow valve. Here. Okay. 
and then we still have the overflow valve to the clarifier just in case it gets completely full. So this way it'll come out, it'll, as long as this pipe is full, it'll start to send it up this way, which will come over to our barreling plant. Okay, so now we just need to request the barrels. And let's see if we can do that here. Now I don't have room for any big chests. Or maybe I do have room for quote unquote big chests. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, so maybe we can just do a pair of big chests. We'll unload into those. belt coming out and another stack inserter okay so that should work let's set up our power poles we're here mm. okay well we'll have to skip the light or just move it Actually, let's just, I'll move the pole. I'd rather do that. Yeah, that way the light can stay in the usual place. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Okay, well I guess I'll have to leave the pole there. All right, and then we need to rig this up as a receiving station. Where else am I receiving barrels? Over here. Alright, so I'm going to copy this. And I need two constant combinators. Okay, and the request is now made. And then I need to hook this up over here so the contents of these chests get added onto our negative quantity all right and let's see how this works and then I also need to put some kind of a limit on this Okay, excellent. All right, yeah, so now this is giving us, this green wire has our inventory of full barrels. So we can use this, uh, let's see, saline water barrel. And we can have this run as long as it's less than, I don't know, let's say a thousand. Alright, so we're asking for 400 barrels here. We're requesting when we fall to less than 200. But I also have this minus 400 signal here. So it'll actually keep going. Let me see. I'm just going to put this here so I can see what what's going into the train stop. Yeah, see, so it drops off. How much do we have here now? 
Okay, well that got used up very quickly, didn't it? I think we need to change... I think we need to change this threshold. Because the setting... It's setting the request as soon as it leaves. And there's another request right away. No, I guess that's working. I had 200. Okay. So I guess it takes into account... I don't know how. Or maybe it waits for a minus 200 rather than a positive 200. In which case I would still be fine. Okay, how are we doing up here? We're getting close to a thousand. So instead of spaceman guy, we should call this, <laughs> I love that name anyway, uh, but this is refining empty barrels. Okay, and then this is going to be refining saline out. All right, this should be the last delivery of barrels for a while. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to increase the request so that we don't have such uh, frequent deliveries. Let's make it 800. That's one train's worth. This is keeping our new barrel depot busy. Now that's not a full train. It only has oh okay. Well that's because I already have some inventory. It didn't need it didn't need to request eight hundred to get to an inventory level of eight hundred. So that's fine. Okay, and we can hold eight hundred with with some extra room. Okay, so good. Um now we have the we have the question of what to do with the rest of the water that we've got here. All right, so excess saline we're making available to use elsewhere in barrels. Uh, I think all of our purified water is being managed properly now. The chloric wastewater is being converted into sodium hydroxide. Um, so we've got fluoric wastewater and nitric and sulfuric that we need to figure out what to do with. All right, so let's uh, let's start with the the sulfuric wastewater, and that I think. Let's look for waste. Here we go. So I right clicked on that to see what it's used in. So we can use that for blue algae. We can use that for sulfuric acid. Um, eventually to make sulfuric acid. And we're gonna have other processes that make sulfuric wastewater. So I think it might, I think it might be wise to start to barrel that as well.
So why don't we set up a station for sulfuric wastewater in barrels? Where am I going to put it, though? Well, I suppose I could put it up here. Yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not too... I'm not too happy with this layout anymore. Or I could... I mean, this would be a good place because I already have empty barrels coming in here. Although I suppose I can move... I can move empty barrels. Um... And these are all going to be for ores. All right, I think I'll just put it up here. I need to make a couple more warehouses. <clears throat> and for that, I'm going to need stone, brick, and steel. So we're going to have to go back to the main base to get some supplies. And then we'll come back and start setting that up. There's the crafting speed bonus that I was looking for the other day and couldn't find. Uh, it's right there under the under the player bonuses. So we're at plus 160 now and researching a few more levels. Uh, looks like we can go up to level 11 with blue science packs. Um, I think this is the only research we have left that we can do right now. To do anything more, we're going to need... Military science packs. Uh, we should probably start working on modules at some point. I don't know when it's appropriate to do so. Um, if, if, let me know. Uh, for those of you who are more expert on this than me, um, let me know if, if you think it's a good time to start working on modules or if that can wait until later in the game. Okay, uh, I'm here for brick and steel. Alright, so there's some bricks. Let me, uh, I'm going to pick up, I see some ingots in the inventory here. I'm going to pick those up. No, it's shift E. Shift E to sort. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. There's some ores and stuff in there, but I don't want to mess with those. All right, and then the steel, I'll just take from the belt here. All right, so there's one warehouse. And I need yet more bricks. Oh, iron plate. Okay. There we go. Alright, and... Let's see, I've got some stone and crushed stone that I want to get rid of. I guess it doesn't matter which one of these it goes into. I don't need any mining drills. Actually, let's get the regular mining drills and put those to use right there. Okay. All right, so let's head back and set up that sulfuric acid station. or sulfuric wastewater, excuse me, we're not making acid with it yet. That's uh, several steps down the line. But I wonder... Yeah, you know, part of me thinks it might be a good idea to make the acid there and export the acid instead of the wastewater, but, but I know that we're going to be generating wastewater in lots of other places too, and 
because of that, I think it might be better to, you know, at, at some point we can build a dedicated um, sulfuric acid outpost. All right, so I'm going to copy all of this, essentially. This will be our provider station. for barrels. All right, so I need to make another barreling pump. And I need another constant combinator. I should just make a stack of those. Okay, and then we're going to change this to sulfuric wastewater. Okay, and let's get some power up there. Oh, I'm also missing an LTN stop. Oh. <laughs> Son of a gun. I'm short on steel. And I'm missing a combinator as well. Let's see. Let's copy that. There we go. Okay. Have to go back for more steel, I'm afraid. Let me... I'm actually going to put in a request for steel plates so that I always have a stack. Um, should do the same for iron plates. Those are used a lot for handcrafting stuff. Everything else I don't think I need. I'm going to get rid of these extra copper plates that I've got. And what can I make that will use up these bearings? Alright, now steel... Yeah, steel I do have on the network. It's way up here. And here they come. All right, the slow bots are coming. I'm going to meet them halfway. Speaking of that, get rid of those. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, thank you, gentlemen. All right, so, uh, yeah, let's just make... I'll make a whole stack of those train stops. Um, I think it would be good to have a provider chest of steel plates down here. chest. There we go. And then I'll limit that to two stacks. That way I won't have to wait for it to come all the way from over there. Okay. Back to refining. We're heading over there. Uh, let's look at fluoric wastewater. What do we use that for? Making fluorite ore is one use. It's really the only use of it. What do I need fluorite ore for? Stuff that I don't know if I need. Calcium sulfate. And what? Hydrofluoric acid. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need hydrofluoric acid. So that's, uh, and that's for Jivalite crystals. So that I'm probably going to want to make locally. And for that, I need sulfuric acid. <clears throat> Which 
means that I'm either going to need to make sulfuric acid locally or bring it in from outside. Well, I've already got sulfuric acid in barrels over here. So I think I'll bring it in from outside. Um, because like I said, I, I think the long-term plan will be to have a separate area where we're processing wastewater and making acid and other things. All right, so this is going to be refining sulfuric wastewater. Okay, so let's get barrels fed up there. need to get the the wastewater up there see here. Alright, so that should result in the production of barrels. Um, I do need to limit those. Uh, until then, we need another overflow valve. again. Son of a gun. Okay, well there's an overflow valve. I can use this one. I don't need an overflow valve on that tank anymore because I have a use for the wastewater even when the tank is not full. And that way I can put the overflow valve here. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. The overflow valve needs to be before the pump. One, two, three. Otherwise, the pump itself will create enough pressure to cause the overflow to trigger. Actually, one, two. Let's just put the pump there. We'll put the overflow valve here. Okay. So now that overflow valve will still depend on the level of fluids in the tank. So the overflow valve will prevent this tank from filling up and backing up the process. Uh, and then this pump will be pulling out as much as it can to make barrels. All right. And then we should set this to, let's see, waste, sulfuric wastewater barrel. This one I'm gonna make, let's see, 
I'll make that 5,000. So this is, so 5,000 barrels between the two of these is gonna be 2,500 barrels in each one, which is 250 stacks in each one. So this, these warehouses, well, the warehouses can each hold 700 and, what is it? 768 stacks. So each warehouse can hold 7,680 barrels. Now, if I'm accumulating 5,000 barrels here, I'm going to need more barrels in the system because I only made 6,000 barrels to begin with. So I'm going to need to get some steel over there. But I don't have steel on the network yet. Right, this is where we can send steel when we want more barrels to be made. And it looks like I'm down to 2,000 now. So, um, so I think what we'll have to do is start smelting some steel up north here. So we can add steel as our next process. And we'll do that. And then uh, we'll start to set up some output train stations for this area in the next episode. Uh, and then we'll get to that concrete before too long. <laughs> it keeps getting pushed down the list. But I want to do steel next so that we can make sure we have plenty of barrels. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.